A girl named Beryl explores a painting of her own creation. And that is all for the synopsis for this game, folks. And welcome to Beryl's Painting. Now, this is the 3.02 version. The latest one that is released on VG Parsons' translation page. And I heard this is quite a good game. Similar sort of like concept. Well, not similar concepts, but like a similar look as to Eve. So hopefully this game will give us some quite good scares. Well, Eve was scary, but I don't think this will be related to Eve anyways. It just, it's just a painting, and Eve reminds me of lots of paintings. Let's begin. So yeah. If I'm not freaked out at all by any scares, it's because you can only plan on a small screen. Hello. Paint. Okay, a brush. This is a hello controls. Move Z space enter click confirm X escape cancel menu shift walk. Alright, so shift, you move a bit slower. That may come in handy at some point if there's anything stealthy that needs to be involved. Can I say that's a point? Nope, I am not saving. Hello. Can I interact? Use the enter button which interacts. Hello, anybody? Are we here to have a fun time? Or are we just here to look at each other? Thank you. Just what we needed. You do accept me. What can we do? Where can we go? Yeah, the game hasn't given us much to work from. Oh, hello. Oh, this is where it really begins. Maybe we just needed to go to the loo first. Oh, hello. A painting of her own creation. Uh, uh, I believe that's the language that, well, a fictional language that's within the game. Beverly's, I believe it's called. I'm not mistaken from the games read me this whole document that comes with the download. Hello! Oh. I'm now a princess. Okay. Am I having a bad nightmare? When do I get to save? <laughs> so always my first concern with an RPG or game is when can I save? Where do I save? Hello? Anybody around? Oh. Okay, now we've lost our painting. Why well, is this a bad thing? Hello, rabbit. A painting of a bunny. Yeah. There we go. We can save here. Good. Hello. I don't know what you're saying. Quite quiet for a game as well. Okay, we've just gone back to where we came from. 
Hey, it's going to fly for a game. Just need to turn it up for my own benefits. Stop it. Okay, this is the only pair forward. Only pair forward for the game. It's too dark to see anything. Wine? Not old enough for this yet. Well, how old are you then, Bevel? Long and stiff bread. The clock ticks restlessly. Lots of cute picture books. Yes. How to reach the blue world? First, prepare your brush and some blue paint. Next, look for a door that goes nowhere. Paint the door. Completely blue. Be warned, once you go to the blue world, you cannot return. Oh, thanks very much for that. The pot is empty. So, we need to find some blue paint and paint it on a white canvas. As far as I can see. As far as the eye can see, but then again, I've lost my brush. Not happening. What am I going back? Okay, that won't open. We're kind of trapped in these rooms, aren't we? Unless I understand what you're saying, we're not going to get very far. Oh, we can't even go across there. Mm -hmm. Meat. Oh, eat it all. Because I'm greedy. I don't have a brush though. Something took away my brush. Look. Damn it. Okay, so we've eaten the meal. Where do we go from here now? But each one's nice. Can I have some? Delicious. Pull this pot. The pot is empty. Those are cute picture books. Those are cute picture books. Excellent. Oh, he's gone. Is that a good vein? Good. What a wait here. Seems like a children's playbook at the moment. There's not much horror within the involvement of the game. It seems like a fun game with some mild. Oh, we got a. Uh, oh, I know what they did. Uh, there's gaps within the floor. I'm gonna move these so that they fall in the gaps. Simple enough. Right. A cook's. I thought that was a tooth. I'm thinking, yeah, what's a tooth doing there? I can't, I can't move those. Okay. Oh, damn it. Let me move. Let me go back in the room. Excellent. Uh, whoopie do, whoopie do, whoopie do, do, do. Oh, we got to move this around, haven't we? There's no way we can get it into that gap from this side. Bom, 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 bom. And then downwards. Yay! We fit it through the little gap. There's obviously no horror. This side in. Then go around here. That extra loop was not necessary. <laughs> I just say that now. There's no necessary necessity involved. Oh, hello. We're somewhere. I've got a brush. Excellent. Oh, that's what we needed. Now we just need to paint. Um, we just need to find a canvas and paint it blue. It's dangerous up ahead. Why is it dangerous up ahead, must you say? 
are like a valid reason as to why it will be dangerous up ahead. A strawberry cake, a chocolate cake, more chocolate cake, a great big cake. Got poop blue paint. Why is it? Hmm. Like a very narrow hallway. Where is the next phase of the line? Obviously we cannot enter there at this point. So it just leads us straight back out. Uh, so we'll read the book for a spot. How to reach a blue world. First prepare your brush and some blue paint. Next look for a door that goes nowhere. Pa oh, we have to go paint the door blue. Okay. Sweet. Not much story to the game. Must be more of an adventure game rather than a storytelling game. Okay, there's some horror right there. Excellent. Good for that, but we're not done yet. We just need to not go through the floor. Wait, a door. Uh, a door that goes nowhere. Maybe we need to... Uh, paper door blue, yes. Maybe that was the trick to it. The door is now blue. The brush is now dirty. Dirty brush needs to be dipped in water and cleaned. I need to find a... I need to find a bucket or something of water. A bucket of water to rinse it all on. Yeah, I wouldn't dip it into the tea. That's probably ill-advised. The music is quite calming, which is really nice. Uh, cook's hat. Tea there, balloons in the background. Ray of sunshine. Right. Unless the only way we can clean it is up ahead. I oh, know. Some flowers. We can't investigate the flowers. Why? Not old enough of this yet. Yeah, when they go looking at her, she's. I think again, it's really good painting. So, very good artwork. Okay, we're gonna go through the blue door then. We. Okay, we're just very high up in the sky. What does the arrow mean? There's always water about, but we can't clean our dirty brush. So far it seems like it's just a straightforward path game. Roll open. Something. A door that leads... Ah, that's another door, right. <gasps> Get! Clean it! Yeah! Okay, now we'll, the, the water is dirty. But I can't use it anymore. Okay, so that's another door that we found, is, which is an empty door. Hello? There's an item over there. Uh, okay, please. I only want to read books that are in English, not in Belevelese. The piano. An invisible person is playing it. I'd rather not disturb them. Got scissors. What do we need the scissors for? Hello? What is this? Okay, we won't go there just yet. We won't even need to use it. Okay, so we've got a pair of scissors. Next thing, though, 
What do we do with the scissors? Uh, no harass, so we can't we need to go this way. This song there is empty. The box is. Wait. The, oh, okay. I thought it said the box is now empty. Don't know why. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. Hello. Are you going to kill me if I. Okay, I'm not going to go through there then. What to do? Hmm. What to do? Won't open. Okay. Was there anything out here that we needed to look at? Anything at all? That's just a bridge. I don't think there's going to be anything on a huge, long, narrow bridge. We might more like it's just fall off and find anything useful. Yeah, so that's the door that doesn't go anywhere. We're downstairs. Is there anything down here that we've missed? Oh, hello. Cut a bit of this. Found a hidden passage. This is a blade of slightly bent. Oh, good doggy. That's a good thing. We found something. Hello. A broken mirror. Run a broken mirror. Okay, so we need to find something to fix the broken mirror. I why the floor is wet. I don't know. Could go in through an art world. That door is very poorly fitted, but it's a storeroom, so it doesn't really need to be fixed. Okay. Make for that information. No, not Beverly's again. Yeah, there's a person to use it on. How cool am I? <laughs> to use some children's scissors to try and slightly stab them I use safety scissors for a reason it's empty the box is empty that's empty, that's empty that's empty nothing inside nothing inside nothing there, nothing there Hello? Hmm. Okay. Hello, I didn't come here to pick a fight. Oh, you vanished. No. It's empty. Okay, so there's an ease. I believe that's an easel. After the blue world is the red world, it says. Okay, what is that supposed to signify? And where can I find some blue paint? It's empty. Oh, come on, one of these has got to be something. It can't just be that girl in there. One of these lights. Thanks. Oh, wait, I can use that. Got a mirror shard, and then I can place the mirror shard into the mirror that's downstairs. Correct? I don't know. Unlike other RPG horror games, this game does not have really any story to it. It's just one girl 
looking for an artwork of her own creation and somehow stuff in her pants. Put it there. Excellent. It shows a switch on the opposite wall. Thank you. Where's the switch? Yes. A secret hidden passageway. Well, probably not that secret as it needs to be discovered to progress the story. Hmm. What of it though? Good. We keep pressing forwards. Into the unknown. Into the abyss. So yeah, the only horror part of this game so far has been game over screen. Apart from that, you could probably persuade children to play this game. We're underwater. What is the meaning of this? Oh, hello. Oh, because it was wet under the floor, so that must mean anything below it must be... Wet. Very wet. Is it just green paint that we discovered? Or is there something else under here? So saying it after the blue world is the red world. But then again I found green paint. Unless I've got to use the green paint on something else entirely. You Wait. Oh, not this again. Okay, my game has screwed my over. I can only go forward. Look, I press left and I can only go forward. If this is not a game theme, this has to be an engine theme which does that. The game thinks I'm always pressing forward. But for some other reason it doesn't do that when I'm looking through... Oh wait. Alright, when that happens I can't even press up. Damn it. Uh, we'll be right back folks. Actually, you know what? I'm going to end it off here. I'm going to discover it the next time we run. So, hope you enjoyed this game folks. As much as I am... Well, not enjoying it as much as I thought I was going to enjoy it, but it's a good game nonetheless. So take care of yourselves, folks, and see you on the next time of Bevel's Painting. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.